Cisco Endpoint AMP, Orbital, ARP Cache Inspection, example number two. So I talked about this in the previous video around um, ARP Cache Inspection, and specifically things like Man in the Middle, ARP Spoofing, etc. Um, we may want to, uh, you know, uh, investigate certain endpoints. Uh, we might want to do this as part of a posture assessment. But usually an IP address will be associated to a single physical uh, address. So I've got a two uh, IP addresses, 1.1.1 and 2.2.2, that are assigned to a single physical address on the box. And so I want to be a little bit more specific in this case. And so I'm going to use some of the additional parameters I didn't use in the previous video. So right now we're doing select address in Mac and we're counting that from the ARP cache. And so now what I want to do is I want to actually select count from the ARP cache and I want to count, in this case, anything uh, greater or equal to one as an example, right? And we'll clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to say, we're going to get rid of a and address. We're going to say and Mac like uh, Mac from ARP underscore cache where Mac equals and then that um, a physical address, right? And maybe we've done this because we've got a, a packet capture with some information. It, it triggered off an anomaly in uh, some type of flow collector. Um, you know, we wherever we've gotten this information, we may want to be specific. And now we're going to scan that endpoint and look at that, right? We've looked for that MAC. We've been able to pull out two IP addresses that are associated to that MAC. Um, and when we come to the endpoint, let's see if that's actually true. And if we look, here it is there. Yeah, so 1.1.1 and 2.2.2 are both assigned to the same physical address. Now, this could be an indication of you know, some type of attack like man in the middle. Anyways, pretty easy stuff to customize those queries. Again, Cisco's done a good job of providing you a bunch of templates to work from.